Can we uh, rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'd like to welcome everyone to the town board meeting for Monday, February 10, 2020. Uh, I have a uh, motion to open the town board meeting. I'll make that motion. Colonna second. Call the question. Uh, Colonna aye. Cardone aye. Skankarello aye. Begin aye. Okay, so move. Uh, couple announcements. Uh, 2020 uh, board vacancies. We have uh, a vacancy on the planning board. We have two uh, alternate vacancies on the ZBA. Uh, we have, I think, three vacancies on the conservation commission. Uh, so, if, if, and one on the ethics board. So if anybody's interested, uh, you could go online, monroeny.org, and you could submit uh, a, re a letter and uh, your resume. The other thing is constant contact. Uh, we're up above 720 people now. Wow. Uh, when we started that initiative about two weeks ago, we had just over 430, I believe. So we're, we're really moving along there. Uh, hey, Mr. Supervisor, before you jump into the, uh, the next uh, under community announcements, uh, at the last uh, Association of Towns and Villages meeting, which we, we hosted, um, the um, the county is <clears throat> really trying to make an aggressive push for the for the 2020 census. Uh, they they came up with a list of municipalities that were uh, underreported in the last one, and, and we were we were, we were one, like shockingly we were one of them. So we really um, we, we've really got. I was talking to Megan T Tannenbaum was there from the uh, uh, Orange County Planning, and uh, so you know uh, I spoke to Emery Morris. We're going to try to. You know, seniors seem to be because everything, yeah. yeah, is a shortcoming, and uh, we'll try to use dial a bus. But what, what she had, you know, because a lot of the seniors are using dial a bus, I think probably 60% of our ridership is, is seniors. So we definitely want to. Uh, the, the recommendation from the county is for the each municipality to kind of come up with a community plan and, and maybe a committee to. to uh, further that that count so that's something we should probably talk about uh in the near future and some okay. and some ways that we can reach out to people that uh don't you know don't don't uh, answer the census because there's money at stake and and uh yeah, it's like 2500 bucks a person yeah that's, that's crazy yeah. so we we need that money and so i i think you know with constant contact and everything else we gotta get it out there and okay. get people to uh, do it online or however they do it okay We'll, uh, we'll talk about that. Yep. Uh, can, can I have everyone please rise for a moment of silence? Uh, this afternoon, uh, the wife of Ricky Beams, Debbie Beams, uh, passed away uh, from uh, after a long battle with uh, cancer. And uh, Ricky was uh, one of our former highway uh, working leaders and a highway employee for, uh, was it 28 years? 30, wow. 36, I 36 wow. years. So. Uh, so if we could just uh, pause for a moment of silence. Okay, thank you very much. <coughs> I want to make a motion to open the continuation of the public hearing for the proposed amendment to Chapter 57 of the Town Code. I'll make that motion. Call on a second. Call the question. Cologne aye. Cardone aye. Scancarello aye. I'll begin I. Okay. Anybody sign up? We have no one signed up, Mr. Supervisor. Okay. Uh, okay, just the, okay. Yeah, the update is basically uh, uh, the planner is working on the, the DGIS that he will be presenting to the board. Uh, once we get that DGIS, we will. Uh, either vote as a board to accept or reject it and then at that point we will set a public hearing 
uh, to uh, go forward with that. And uh, so he, he's almost done. He's working very diligently. Uh, so we, uh, we, we hope to, uh, by, certainly by the next meeting, to have that uh, in hand and, and able to move the process forward. Okay. I'll make a motion to keep open the continuation of the public hearing for the proposed amendment to Chapter 57 of the Town Code. Uh, at 7 p.m. on March 2nd, 2020. I'll second. Any other discussion? Call the question. Cologne, aye. Cardone, aye. Skankrell, aye. You can, aye. Okay. We need a motion to open up the continuation of the public hearing for the proposed changes to Article 14 of the Town of Monroe Local Zoning Code. Cologne, make the, uh, that motion. I'll second. Call the question. Cologne, aye. Cardone, aye. Scancarello, aye. McGinn, aye. Okay, so moved. Uh, any other updates on that? Or we're just, uh, I think, believe waiting for some response back from the county. Yes, so. still waiting on the county. Anybody uh, sign up to speak? We have no one signed up to speak. Okay. With that said, uh, I'll make a motion to Keep open the continuation of the public hearing for the proposed changes to Article 14 of the Town of Monroe Zoning Local Law on March 2nd, 2020 at 7.05 p.m. I'll second. Call the question. Cologne, aye. Cardone, aye. Scancarello, aye. Begin, aye. Okay, so move. Okay. Uh, Need to make a motion to open a public hearing for the continuation of the Old Country Road Water District. Come on, to make that motion. I second. Uh, second. Call on, second it. A motion was made by myself. Call the question. Cologne, aye. Cardone, aye. Skankerello, aye. Begin, aye. Okay. Uh, we, we've, the construction over there has started. Uh, so, with respect to the IMA, uh, we have a uh, we, we're still waiting for Mr. Nugent to review some of the responses that he received with regard to changes to the IMA from uh, Mr. Prater. The, it's my advice uh, that we continue this until Mr. Nugent uh, is present. Not that uh, John Colasar isn't qualified, but <laughs> I know that Brian and I spoke today and, and he expressed some, uh, uh, some reservations about some of the terms that uh, had come back. So we, we have to w work through some of those. So is there anybody in the audience that signed up to speak? Michelle Dixler. Okay. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Ms. Dixler. Hi, hope everybody's well. Just state your name and... Uh, my name is Michelle Dixler. I live at 45 Old Country Road in the town of Monroe. Um, thank you for getting the work started. It is a grand mess over there. Um, one of the questions that I had is, is one of those gentlemen working there a civil engineer? Um, I mean. Uh, I, I would have to <laughs> defer to, I, I haven't heard of any. Okay. Basically the construction outfit right now is, is working under the, the guidance of, I guess, the town of Palm Tree, you could say. And you know they're doing a job on that aspect. But, but, uh, okay, I mean they're they're working steadily. It's an awful mess, though, uh, which which brought up a few things we were thinking about this afternoon. Um, at some point, I assume they restore the road. Yes. I mean there are There's enormous. There's a bond right now. They have ruts. a bond. Uh -huh. with the highway department. Yeah. And and that road will be put back together the way you know the way it was. Okay, and does that happen after all the hookups that people, I mean, supposedly we have like six months from when, I don't know, but six months to request a hookup. So is the road restored at all before the, that? The or? road would be restored before that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, at that time when you want <coughs> to perform your individual hookup, mm -hmm. you would have to come for a curb cut approval at the highway garage. I'm sorry, what approval? Basically a road opening permit, curb cup approval, you would have to pay for that fee and that, that's something that you would have to do. Well, you wouldn't have to pay for it. 
Right. The, the, the you know, village the, of K J would have to pay. Village of Palm Tree would have to do it. If I were you guys, I would try to get it hooked up to the shoulder of your property while they're there. I mean, that would be the. Well, the the gentlemen that are working now said that they are not. They're just doing the main. Oh. They will not be. Somebody else does the connections. Okay. That's that's what. That's the way. That's me. the way the bid was written as well. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And um, is it possible to see the plans for that? Um, I assume somebody has plans, or do the, I ask them directly? I would or? ask KJ directly, their engineer. Uh, should they have should their have plans. Them on site too. And they should have them on no, site. No, at the site, I mean, yeah. 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 Okay. I don't think it is a big secret. They'll probably show them to you. Okay. okay. And who does the hookups in our homes? How is that handled? Uh, I would the say person that's doing the hookup, I guess. I, I, w I would say that's going to be done by whoever uh, the village of Kairos Joel hires to do those mm -hmm. hookups. And what oversight does the town of Monroe provide for that? Uh, that's part of the issue that we're working through in the IMA. The intermunicipal yes. thing? Yes. Okay. All right. So uh, there will be oversight somewhere yes. from Monroe. I mean, is it like when you build a house, you need a certificate of occupancy? And yeah, the, the only thing is the uniqueness of it is that we only own <coughs> the, the road. Mm -hmm. We don't own any of the improvements or the water, di the water uh, district that, well, I shouldn't say. We don't own the improvements and the infrastructure wells or pump yeah. house or any of the structures that the water district is in. Okay, but um, there will be some supervision. There will be that. some supervision. Okay. Um, we were thinking about, you know, when you, ha I mean, it's an awful mess there now. And I, was there, I was there on Friday. So yeah, yeah, and I, there's I mud all over the place and I told them I no longer have a place to walk my dog. I mean it's like you know. The weather you know. hasn't helped either. And um, it is a construction zone at this yeah. time. Right. And, and yes. That's, unfortunately that's just the way it is. I was actually took a ride through there today. So it, uh, it is. Yeah. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Yeah it's, just, it's, it's a tough time of the year to do this type of project. Right, okay. And the sides of the road, you know, like the part after the mailboxes between, <coughs> um, you know, like we, we don't have curbs and we don't have catch basins. And I see that they did put in a fire hydrant right next door to me, which I'm delighted about. However, you know, when a fire hydrant, I hope it's never used, but, you know, they're going to be <coughs> flushing all these things, are they not? I mean, once you put in this main, it's got to be I would, I, flushed I would. <laughs> to, to get... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have catch basins on my block either. Uh -huh. And basically, and I've you know, seen when it, it does get flushed, it's, listen, the water goes out, it dissipates, uh, you know, they obviously they're not going to do it in, you know, in weather like this where lawns are saturated and things like that. But, mm -hmm. but for the most part, and, and John, you can speak you know yeah, better about I mean, that it's every three months or so they have to flush the hydrants just uh, it's, a, it's a five minute flush usually just to keep everything down that's supposed to be down uh on the health department side of it uh that they have a schedule they'll advise everybody when they do that you know mm -hmm. a week beforehand but uh as far as curbs go yes we have a lot of roads in the town in row without curbs uh Right, curbs so are very expensive, and once we put curbs in, then we have to be ma maintaining them. So that, that, that's another expense for the right. taxpayer. So we're, if there are no catch basins going in, uh, we do have a sewer line there. Well, you, yes, you Where have a sewer does line there. The I'm not sure what's at the end of the cul-de-sac, but the water all runs downhill. You are on a hill that's going to run down to the cul-de-sac and, and run where it's been running for, for as so long as that Which I believe is out to Larkin Drive. Right, that, which leads out to Larkin Drive in the little swampy areas, you know. So there is uh -huh. a, a place for the water to escape. It's just... Uh, yeah. Um, and is there an order with which uh, houses will be hooked up? How is that? Is how is it determined who gets hooked up first? I mean, we have a couple of well, people who have no water. The three people do not have water will get hooked up first. Okay. And when do we need to put in our requests for hookups? That's part of the IMA that mm -hmm. presently is six months within six months of when the IMA is mm -hmm. signed. 
so that's not finalized yet, but that's and a that would go direction. to the town. No, your your request for hookup would go to uh, Village of KJ because uh -huh. they're the ones performing the work. We'll, we would be, so to speak, CC'd on it, but okay. So we'll have all that information once the IMA is worked out. You will have all, right. all that information. Did they? We we did see a, one proposal. Uh, which I gather has been changed in some ways. Uh, will, will we see another proposal? When the proposal is finalized, prior to mm -hmm. it being finalized and approved by this board, mm -hmm. you will receive a copy of it. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, that's... Uh, so in other words, their plumbers will be doing, or whoever it is, what do they do? They hire a company to do the hookups, or? I don't know how they're going to handle it. Like if, if we did it here, our highway department would be doing it. Well, from the, from the shut off to, to the house is, is usually private. Uh, that's why I, I said, you know, that would be, from the curb cock to where the water shuts off from the roadway to your house is your responsibility. Not in this, but, would not in this yeah, case. But, 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 but which this would case. be Palm Tree's responsibility right. now. It's not going to be your responsibility per se. It's going to be con, uh, Palm Tree's. But if, if you was up on uh, High Ridge Road from, from the water shut off to the road to your house right. is, is homeowner well, responsibility. That's how it was with the sewer connection. Correct. And that Correct. was fine. But... but uh, yeah. But you won't have any responsibility f with respect to this because it's part of the IMA. So part of the Palm agreement. Tree, uh, Villa, I'm sorry, Village of KJ would be providing that. Okay. I'm, I'm still a little skeptical about how that's all going to happen, not because of the board. Uh, they've been cooperative, but because of the resistance on the other side. Well, I, w so, I will tell you this. Yes. You know, we have had oversight with respect to this from day one, mm -hmm. so we will still have oversight with respect to the connection that you have. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. And then mm -hmm. one point, uh, with regard to your, uh, your husband's request for the use of your well mm -hmm. for filling up pools and watering the lawn, uh -huh. uh, I, the Department of Health approved that as long as it's a separate uh, and distinct uh, system. So it has to be disconnected from your home and hmm. cannot be reconnected to your home. Interesting. Okay, so we will have use of that. Not that we, <laughs> we don't have a pool, nor are we putting one in, and we never water our lawn. But, you know, we do you know, water the flowers sometimes, and it's yeah, nice to, oh, that's, that's great that yeah. we will have that uh, ability. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. All right, thank you for your time. Anytime. You're welcome. Thank, thank you, you, Mrs. Dexler. Anyone else sign up? David Dixler? She, she speaks better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That, that's all that's signed up. Okay. Uh, anyone else have comment up here? Okay, so I'll make a motion to keep open the public hearing regarding the continuation of Old Country Road Water District. Uh, we need a second. Call on a second. Pardon? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, call the, <laughs> call, I, I made the motion. Call the question. Cologne, aye. Cardone, aye. Scancarello, aye. Good night. And the date and time for that, I'm sorry, is March, March. 2nd at 710, okay. 2020. Okay. Next item on is it the uh, general fund abstract? Uh, be resolved at the Town Board of Town of Monroe, we request approval of abstract number 20-10, the general fund containing checks 25319 through 25360 for the amount totaling $138,894.01. Do we have a motion to approve that? Cologne I'll make that motion. Colon a second. Colon a second. Call the question. Colon I. Cordon I. Scancarell I. McGinn I. Okay, so moved. Next up is the escrow abstract uh, for the, the resolved as the town board of the town of Monroe request approval for abstract number 20 020 escrow containing checks 1893 through 1900 
totaling $22,776.20. Before I make the uh, second correction, please, it's 20 02. You said 20 20. Oh, my, my mistake. 20 02. Thank you, Rick. Uh -huh. Colonna second. Tony, again, the checks were from where? They were from 1893 to 1900, totaling $22,776.20. A lot of 20s. A lot of 20s. Call a question. Call a question. Come on, I. Put on, I. Scancarillo, I. Begin, I. Okay, so move. Uh, we need a motion to accept the minutes from February. 3rd, 2020. I'll make that motion. Hold on a second. Any uh, discussion, changes, alterations, revisions? No, just that they were done in record time. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Val. Val. Way to go, Val. Way to crack, was that way, way way to crack the whip down there. Not a word. Thank you for wow. that prompt uh, turnaround. That's around. because 8.15. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's always better than 1.15 in the morning. Yeah, it's a lot of writing. Please, yes. don't. Please. Okay, call the question. Come on, Ike. Cardone, Ike. Scancarello, Ike. Begin, Ike. Okay. Uh... Next up is the budgetary transfers for the uh, purchase of a new town ambulance. Hold on one second. Do you have them in your packet? No. Hold on. I'm looking for it. Is that? Oh no, that's a treatment. Can you, can you get off board docs or? I'm going to take care. All right, let's go on to. Uh, we have the attachments, Mr. Supervisor. You have them? Yes. Can, can, you, yes. can you read the numbers then, please, Madam Clerk? Which one are we going to open? Open up that. Let's see what we do. Do you want to make the motion Is first and have the clerk read them into the. Uh, uh, the to read them first. Yeah. All right, so oh, wait a minute, hold on. I think they might be back towards no, not. The, they might be back towards the end. Uh you the end? No, no, but there's in the uh Oh yeah, it's full like business. Nine two. Nine two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay, so uh You know what, Madam Clerk? <laughs> I I go from I don't know what happened. I go from eight one to ten one. So. Oh, wow. I got nine. Did, 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 Mr. Mr. Supervisor, should we just make a motion and then have the clerk read the? Yes. Uh, yeah. The, so the I'll make a motion to approve the budgetary transfers as read by Town Clerk Mary Ellen Beams uh, for the purchase of the new ambulance for. Two hundred twenty-three thousand. Boy, I just had. Uh, it again. <laughs> doesn't even have the number. Get this right eventually. Five sixty-nine. Five sixty-nine. Thank you. Two hundred twenty-three thousand five hundred sixty-nine. Okay, Five. so you have a few transfers here. So you're transferring from the <coughs> capital project ambulance fund of A0, <coughs> excuse me, A000-9950-2020 Now my voice is going to crack. <coughs> to H cash savings 0714 and it's line H005-02-01. So that was $28,000 transferred between there. Then you have ambulance auto insurance, line A000-4540-46. $162.64 going to H cash savings 0714 
Okay, next line is ambulance equipment purchase. And it's, that's where it's going to, the ambulance line equipment purchase of H0054540-2, Okay, then you have A cash savings 8935, line 8000-02-01, and that's the amount of $6,000. And that's going to ambulance equipment purchase H005-4540-2001. And that was $6,000. Then there's H cash checking 5083, and that's line H005-0200, in the amount of $44,162.64. And that's going to the H, let me move this down. H005 account? Yes, H005-0201, and that was 44,162.64. Then H cash checking 5083, line H005-0200, $179,406.36, and that will give you a total amount for the ambulance cost of $223,569. Did you understand that? <laughs> so okay. here's, here's, here's the deal. <laughs> so, so it comes out to the amount, but what happened was we paid the insurance for the ambulance. There was $162.64 left over. We won. So, so we, we transferred that into the equipment purchase because we were short based on Originally, I think the price that we were given was less than 220. So when it when it went over, we then took in your equipment line from this year, uh, which was up to twenty nine thousand dollars. We had to take six thousand dollars out of that to, and I think that equipment line was up by seven thousand dollars. So we took six thousand dollars out of that, and then the remaining was the uh, hundred and. 79. 79. Yeah, 179 and change. And the 44 was just a transfer that was done for banking purposes, just to formalize it. All and those line still, items. And if you're still minutes. confused, come down tomorrow and I will explain it to you. Until you're more confused. I'm not confused, I'm just amazed at the cost of something like that. Yeah, but so, so here, here's the deal, Mrs. Dixler. So we, we right now have set up a contingency fund. Uh, for a capital expense for a new ambulance, uh, and we're going to be putting in somewhere in the neighborhood of between twenty-five and thirty thousand dollars each year, so that in seven years, hopefully, we'll have enough. Eight years, we'll have enough to purchase a new ambulance. Okay, but Wayne, did you? Me, it's it's well worth it if you need it, and, and for the people that that right. you know, Molvac, that are are just a uh, vital part of our community. There's no. Uh, um, listen, I know that they sharpened their pencil when they did this, you know, package to uh, their specs package. So it's, uh, you know, everything's expensive. Yeah, trucks, highway trucks, everything's expensive. So. That's that you're looking confused. <laughs> I want to I want to quell any fears if you have any questions. Me? Yeah. Oh no, we were just doing the math back here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come out to Don't the worry. The money's there. there. Yeah. You're off 12 cents. <laughs> how, how is this related to the KJ ambulance district? Cause None. 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 If, None. If I call for an ambulance, this is the ambulance I would get? Uh, you yes. might. You might get a KJ ambulance. It's we, also, it, it depends on what number you call. Is yeah. that a mutual A kind it, of thing? Mutual, basically. How does that work? How do, how would I, I know? I, I would have rather have Nancy explain that if, to you. If you call 911, yeah. you get us. Sorry. If you call Hot Solo directly, you'll get KJ. Right. So there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's no grants. So, excuse me? There's no grant from the government. No grant from the government? Well, we're getting on state bid. Yeah, yeah we're getting on state bid, right. so. Okay. So. 
I'd like to make a motion to approve those transfers. I'll make that motion. Colonna, make the motion. I'll second. Okay. For all the numbers. Call the question. Colonna, aye. Cardona, aye. Scancarello, aye. McGinn, aye. Okay. All right. Item 8.1. We're going to table to the March 2nd meeting. So I'd like to make a motion to table that to I'll March 2nd. I'll second it. Call the question. Cologne, aye. Cardone, aye. Scancarello, aye. Hmm. Begin, aye. Okay, so moved. Next item is the Solitude Lake Management proposal for Round Lake. Uh, so we have before us. Cost. Oh my God! What is going on here? Sixteen and change. Hold on. Do you have the whole proposal? Here? Here you go. <laughs> why am I not missing? Why am I missing the top pages? It's in the back. Here, here you go. This is it right here. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I don't have that page. Right? All right. I got it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So the twenty thousand uh, lake management contract price is. $19,450, which is payable in installments monthly from April through August for $3,890. This is through Solitude Lake Management. They've done it before. Uh, it is uh, the unicellular algae within the lake shall be treated and controlled through the application of uh, Sutrine Plus and aquatic uh, surfactants. And that will be done, like I said, through August, beginning in April, one time a month. Is this what this is? This, what is, this is what we've done in the past. Uh, the only thing, that, well, let's make a. Uh, we need a motion on that. I'll make the Go on to make the motion. I'll second. Uh, any discussion? This is what keeps our uh, our lakes clear, so we don't get that algae bloom. Correct. 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 And correct. that's what we needed uh, because we have people in uh, the boats. And yes. In the water and. Uh, Yep. These people safe. Right. Okay. And then the western side of the lake has had some serious issues which have not been rectified for probably somewhere between uh, five to eight years. And the issue with it is when they did development, <coughs> when they did some developing over on the uh, interlocking uh, side of the lake, a lot of that silt runoff came down through the stream, causing the, the, the level of the water to decrease. All the silt runoff came in there. So uh, what we want to try to do there is target that specific area, which is plus or minus about uh, a quarter of an acre. And that will be treated uh, one time per month uh, with MD pellets. Uh, at a rate of 50 pounds per acre from June through September to try to alleviate the buildup of algae there. Thanks. And that is $1,000 uh, annually, and it'll be done in four monthly installments of $250 from June through September. We reviewed this last year after we approved the contract. There wasn't any money uh, to take care of that. So we basically had to uh, uh, put it off to this year. So I will, I will make a motion to perform the uh, additional <coughs> treatment with the MD pellet applications at the target area, uh, approximately plus or minus a quarter of an acre at the cost of $1,000 annually. Mr. Supervisor? Yes. We didn't call the question the first one for the uh, the the agree the lake management proposal for the Round Lake. Okay. This is the so you have a first and a second, but we didn't call that one. My error. Question. Well, let's call the question on the first. Uh, for the nineteen thousand. For the nineteen thousand four hundred fifty. Cologne, aye. Cardone, aye. Scancarello, aye. McKinn, aye. Okay, so moved. My apologies. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you for catching that. So the 
The, the next motion I'll make is for the MD pellet application at the target area in Round Lake of plus or minus a quarter of an acre, four monthly installments from June through September for $1,000. I'll second I'm sorry, that. Wait. Four monthly installments from June through September for $250, We're totaling $1,000. And that's never been done before, right? No. Okay. And that's from runoff from where? Excuse me? You said there was silt that was runoff from? There was silt that was runoff from the interlocking parkway uh, uh, area. Construction? Yeah, well, but years back. Oh. Yeah, years back. Gotcha. Call the question. Call the question. Colon, aye. Yes, we do. Who seconded it? Sal. 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 Cardone, aye. Scancarello, aye. <coughs> McGinn, aye. Okay, so moved. All right. Okay, uh, Councilman McGinn, we have a change order. Okay, um, I have, the change order is for uh, additional uh, security devices for, for our town hall. Um, I, I have reviewed it. I actually spoke to the security contractor today that the um, the one in the hand uh, the one in the package the agenda package is actually there was a follow up last Thursday to that one which included the uh, the kick plates door plates so that amount is actually twenty two thousand three hundred one so I sent this you know over to our consultant that did the design plan for the uh, uh, for our security systems and uh, you know he he reviewed it and said that the numbers are consistent with what those changes are it's not exorbitant or whatever uh, i can certainly talk to the, you know get back in Bless touch you. with the Bless you, with the security company to see if we can uh, bring that down some but there were some significant changes and and uh, a lot of it had to do with labor and cabling and and uh, some of the other things that are required for these uh, uh, for these devices now the, the, the other thing with this is I believe a portion of this specific to the push plates is going to be credited back right from the bid right for the uh, right because because the compatibility from what Excel had and what Darlin was providing for the renovation right but I think Darlin never actually ordered those though so that's no no they didn't yeah so they didn't. but we're still going to get a credit because yeah they're handling the wiring and everything is right exactly with. yeah so I just don't know what that credit is. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know either, but I'll, I'll work with. Well, yeah, myself. I'm working with Andy. I yeah, emailed too. him to find out. So yeah. So, so anyway, it, it is consistent with the amount of work that was done. It's not, you know, uh, it is, you know, we're talking six cameras on the outside of the building, the extra card readers for the uh, the the courtroom, the the prisoner holding area. Um, there, there's judges, judges, the judges' chambers, the inside outside. So there's there's a bit of. Uh, you know everything spelled out again I, I sent it over to consult who, who did our uh, who did the uh, who did the plan who did the the, uh, the the package and it is it is consistent it's not exorbitant or out of line with with what the uh, okay. if we had used one of the other companies that had bid on this it would be the, the price would be even though they came in low Excel I think it was like thirty two thousand dollars lower um, that that company would have, you know, yeah, it, it still would have gone up by that oh, amount. Still anyway. gone up. Yeah, and so we're still coming out well ahead, and, and uh, so. Okay. All right. So, you, did you want to make a motion to approve that? Yeah, I just wanted again just reiterate that that amount, uh, the, the uh, change order in the package is not the one that was sent on. Uh, this past Thursday, and that amount is twenty-two thousand three hundred one. Okay. So. So I mean, I'll make you know, I'll make that motion. Okay, and that will come out of, from what I understand, that's going to come out of the bonding money, the general fund that we've already uh, All right. you know, uncovered. Okay. So, okay. So I'll second that motion. Any other discussion? Call the question. Cologne, aye. Cardone, aye. Skankerello, aye. McGinn, aye. Okay, so move. 
Next item on the agenda is uh, item 8.5, a petition to amend the zoning <coughs> ordinance uh, on Monroe Nininger uh, has requested, Monroe Nininger LLC has a, requested a change to article 17 of the town code of the town of Monroe. The petition requests a change to the maximum height regulation in the HI heavy industrial zoning district from 40 feet to 50 feet. Uh, the the change was brought from 50 feet down to 40 feet when we did the comp plan and it looks like we we might have made an an error in that because it, it just it, for uh, and i know council mcginn you you have checked into the other zoning areas yeah i mean i mean basically what, what this is is geared towards is, is primarily um hotels and you know you, you after looking at it, you cannot build a four-story hotel with with a forty-foot height limit. It's just it's impossible. Uh, Ten feet per, per floor does not work. It's got to you need at least twelve when you put in all your HVAC and everything else. So, um, with reviewing that, we realized that 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 probably was an error. And and uh, and again, this is just requested in the HI it's something we had been looking at even before receiving this petition from uh, uh, from that from that uh, developer that wants to do that uh, property over there so it was something we were looking at and, and thinking that it was some we would want to adjust that because after we did it people did come up to us and say hey you, you can't do a four-story structure for you know 40 feet unless you know you have midgets or uh, not, not, that, not that there's anything wrong with short people don't get me wrong but uh you know but but yes unless you know uh you're really vertically challenged it's you can't do you know 40 feet so okay uh so we have to set a public hearing for that so how about we do that on march 2nd at 7.15 p.m. 2020. Sounds good. All right, I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Any other discussion? Call the question. Come on, aye. Pardon, aye. Scancarello, aye. Begin, aye. Okay. We need a motion since we have two executed, this is item 9.1 on the old business. We have two executed copies with original signatures uh, for the Monroe Library Agreement. So we need a motion to uh, authorize the supervisor to sign that agreement. I'll make that motion. Do we have a second? I'll, I'll second. Still on a second. Oh. <laughs> All right. Any other discussion? Call the question. Cologne, aye. Cologne, aye. Scancarello, aye. Again, aye. Okay. Item 9.2, so we approved all the transfers, so now we uh, need a resolution that the town board of the town of Monroe approved the purchase of the new town ambulance at a cost of $223,569. I'll make that motion. Clark, I will second. second. Seconded by Councilman Chancarro. Any other discussion? Call the question. Cologne, aye. Cardone, aye. Scancarello, aye. Begin, aye. Okay. So move. And thank you for all you do. You know my feelings after the last month. Uh, your, your efforts are, are, are gratefully appreciated. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that Old Country Road Water Service and Reed Levy Agreement, uh, it's basically uh, we're waiting for the finalization of that agreement. Once that happens, uh, everything will be in place. We'll have oversight, and uh, we'll see where we uh, where we go from there with respect to the completion of it. Hopefully, it's done by by the next meeting. Nine point four: uh, the return of the escrow, which was tabled from last meeting, of Nelson Luciano. For the amount of $1,825, Mr. Luciano has withdrawn his application. The final invoice has been paid and he would like the balance of his escrow returned. That would come from account Z037-2019. 
Colonna make the motion. I'll second. Any other discussion? Call the question. Colonna aye. Cardone aye. Scancarello aye. Make it aye. Make it aye. Okay. Okay, public comment. Anyone sign up? No, Mr. Supervisor. No, no public comment. Okay. Uh, I would like to enter, enter into executive session to discuss uh, personnel matter. I'll second that. Is that right terminology there, Council? <laughs> um, is this related to the disciplinary? Or yes. So uh, I would make a motion to enter into executive session, discuss a disciplinary matter concerning a certain employee. Okay. So I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Second it. Okay. Call the question. Cologne aye. Cardone aye. Scancarello aye. Good night. Okay. So moved. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to come back to uh, the <coughs> town board meeting. Cologne a second. Call the question. Cologne aye. Cardone aye. Scancarello aye. Good night. Okay. Uh, a couple items. Uh, first. First up, uh, I'd like to make a motion to reappoint Rosemary Knapp to slot number one on the, uh, the uh, ARB board. The, the Board of Assessment board of Review. Assess I'm sorry, the BAR board. I'll board second that. Review. Seconded by Councilman Scancarello. Any discussion? What's the term? Her term will expire 2023. Okay, thank you. For term to expire of 2023. Call the question. Colon I. Cardone I. Scancarello I. Again I. Okay. Second item are the uh, charges that were drafted by council. Uh, so be it resolved that the town board hereby authorized the town supervisor to serve the notice of discipline with charges and specifications and the notice of suspension in the form presented to the town board upon a certain town employee identified and known to the town board and two this resolution shall be effective immediately so i'd like to call a question on that oh you have to you made a second i'll, I'll make a motion on that yeah you made the motion all right cologne second seconded by councilman cologne call the question cologne aye cardone aye scancarello aye McGinn, aye okay so moved and finally i was remiss because i had the employees confused thanks Rick the item I tabled was was not for the HEO which I thought it was it was for a part-time clerk so I would like to rescind that motion and make a motion to uh, hire as part-time clerk uh, Danielle Adair for the position of part-time clerk in the highway department at a rate of $17.50 an hour. Danielle has been pre-approved pre for employment by the Orange County Department of Human Resources and she will be trained uh, by Bob uh, Piccinati uh, to uh, eventually uh, hopefully become full-time in that position. Correct. Correct. Anything else? No, uh, Bob interviewed uh, a couple folks. Uh, I, got, I basically uh, am going by Bob's word and his uh, Feelings and uh, Danielle was his number one pick at this time. Okay, good. All right, so we need a second for that. I'll second. Call the question. Cologne aye. Cardone aye. Scancarello aye. McKinn aye. Okay, so moved. Any other items? Did, make, did you uh, do, we, do we have to put a salary on? I mean, uh, an hourly on that or seventeen no? fifty an hour. Seventeen fifty an hour. All right. Part time. So. All right. You guys have a forty hour work week, John? Yes. All right, so it's twenty hours. Twenty hours a week. Okay. Max. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? I think that's it. I'll make a motion to adjourn the February 10th town board meeting. I will second. Call the question. Cologne aye. Cardone aye. Scancarello aye. Good night.